welcome to stage fours, or should I specifically say stage four percussion? Today we are just talking to the percussionists because that's what we're working on particularly. We're going to talk about how you hold the sticks, we're going to talk about stick stroke, we're going to talk about using a metronome, and we're going to eventually look at the music and the basic operation of a drum kit. Alright, so first of all, we're going to start. What you need for this? You need a pair of sticks of some sort. I don't mind if they're chopsticks, but you need a pair of some form of sticks. These sticks are what you call a 7A, um, and they have uh, nylon tips on them. Alright, this is what I prefer to use because they're reasonably light and I hit very hard. So I do break them every now and then, but it's better than making a really lot of noise. So, what else you'll need? You'll need, if you don't have a drum pad or a drum itself, just a table would be fine. But please don't use your mother's good table and put little dents all through it. So if you have a table, put something over it, like even a book, and use a book to, to drum on. All right, so um, I prefer at the moment you stand up to drum and will be good. Make sure you're balanced behind the drum or behind the table or wherever you are. All right, first of all, holding the sticks. With a stick, I want you to find the basic balance point of your stick, which is normally around the middle, but depending on the size of the stick and um, how much beveling there is at the end. All right, so my basic point of um, balance is there. So I'm going to hold the stick slightly behind the point of balance, my fingers slightly behind, and my hand is pointed up. This is the way that I hold um, drumsticks. It's not the way that everyone does. There are lots of different ways to hold a drumstick. I'm teaching you my method. There are ways where you hold the drumstick more like this with your, like a chopstick, um, and you hold one different. Sometimes you can hold them both like that. But at the moment, we're holding them. So our hands are on top, and the drum comes out of the V of the hand. The stick comes out of the V of the hand. So we're slightly behind our balance point. Our fingers are underneath and they actually do the control of the stick. So our fingers are controlling that stick, they're going to be underneath. Um, so when we've turned it over, our hands are on top. Do not have your fingers up on top of the stick because that's just stopping it from moving. You need the stick to move freely. Alright, so that's just holding the stick. When I talk about stick stroke, I'm talking about the distance that the stick travels. If I'm doing a long stick stroke, all right, that means that I'm going to hit the drum very hard. If I'm doing a very short stick stroke, then I'll be hitting the drum not so hard. So I prefer you to work with about a moderate stick stroke so it doesn't come up too far. So about that distance. All right, so that's going to be our stick stroke. Um, that's when I refer to that. What I've asked you to do already is to get a metronome downloaded onto your phone or onto your um, device of some sort. They are a great app to use and they're free, so it doesn't, won't cost you anything to get it down. So I have a metronome and I'm not even sure what it's called, but I've got a metronome and I can set lots of different tones on that. Um, I'm going to set that metronome at the moment to 90 beats per minute. Alright, so that's up there, it says 90 beats per minute. And most of what I'm going to do today is going to be on 90 beats per minute. So if I have that, and I get the metronome going, it's going to sound like this. Alright, so if you have your metronome and you can open that, would, that would be great. What I'd also like is for, there will be different times when I'll ask you to pause the video and do some practice of what we're working on. So after we've done every separate routine, I'll get you to pause the video and work on that um, somehow or another way. You're doing it on a drum or wherever you're doing it. So I'd like you to work on that. First of all, I'd like you to make sure you have your sticks held correctly. We're going to be using um, some basic uh, stick rhythms. So we're going to start first with just one stroke per count which really would be counting in crotchets if we're in 4-4 time. And I've got the metronome set to 4-4 time. So we're counting in crotchets, and so I'm going to be doing 90 crotchet beats per minute. 
I'm just going to do singles on that just in your right hand. You'll notice that I'm using my right hand and it'll be opposite to you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do everything opposite so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to be starting with my left hand, but for you it means you can be in your right hand. All right, and that's your left hand and then you'll start with the other one. So, what I'm going to do, this is basic singles, one per count. After four, two, three, go. Excellent. That was four bars of that. Hopefully you're going to be playing this with me, because then you're going to practice it afterwards. We're going to double that, so we're going to keep the beat the same. We're now working in quavers, or I'm going to call them doubles. Alright, so we're working in doubles. And we're going to start with our right hand again, and we're going to go right, left, right, left. Ready? Ask for one, two, three, go. done four bars of doubles or quavers. Alright? The next time we're going to do it, we're going to double it again. We're going to go to semi-quavers, which means we have four beats or four um, notes to every count of this. So, alright? This is going to be semi-quavers. So, are you ready? At four. One, two, three, go. So there we have our normal single stick beats. So we have singles, doubles, and quads or quadruples. All right, what I'd like to do now, pause the video and do some practice of those. Try them by yourself, get your metronome going, and then come back to the video and start the video again. Excellent. What we're going to do now, we're going to look at those basic beats on the, the music. So I'm going to cut now to the music and we're going to look at your page four of the music. So if you can have your music book there and open it to page four, then we're going to be looking at that. Looking at the drum music, you'll notice we have the percussion clef at the top there that becomes the beginning of every line. We have our time signature, 4-4, four, four, and then we have on number one, we have crotchets in the snare drum and a semi breathe in our bass drum. Pause the film now and practice from number one down to number six. I hope you understood everything that happened there. All right, so now we're going to talk that little bit further. We've been into the book. The book we should be up to is about page 16, um, depending how well you're going. All right, so um, we're going to look a little bit further. The next thing the book goes to is called drag rolls or multiple bounce. I'm going to call them drag rolls because that's the normal name for them, but the book calls them multiple bounce. All right, it's when the stick hits the, the um, drum and keeps bounding. And we call them drag rolls because the actual the drag comes back. So if you notice, I'm bringing that stick slightly back to get that roll or that multiple bounce effect happening. All right, so if I'm going to go, all right, so that's what I'm doing, my drag, roll, or multiple bounce. Um, that will be on page eight, and we're going to talk about this soon. But we're going to do an exercise the same as before. We're going to go singles, doubles, and then quads with our drag rolls. A little bit more difficult, so we're going to start with our single drag rolls. All right, again, I'm starting on the left hand, but you're going to start with your right, so just mirror what I'm doing. All right, so we're going to do this again to the metronome. Set your metronome again at 90. Are you ready? One, two, three, drags. I drag that back every time. I'm actually controlling that bounce with my fingers on the back of the stick. All right, and I know that it's bouncing against it. I'm holding it reasonably loosely, but not too loose, so it just bounces all over the place. All 
all right? So, we're gonna now take it and do that as doubles or as quavers, right? One, two, three, go. Again, we're listening to the metronome and making sure we stay in time. Normally your metronome is the guy standing up front waving his little wand around. Um, probably an ugly little guy, but anyway, he's the guy that you'd be watching. All right, we're gonna now go to quads, or in this case, semi-quavers, um, and we're gonna do this, and it will end up as an actual drum roll. All right, so again, I'm gonna start with my left. Normally you'd start with your right, um, so you're mirroring what I do. All right, one, two, Three, go! Excellent. If I could stop the metronome. You'll notice that these are on page eight, and now we're gonna to go to page eight, we're gonna look at that and talk about the terms. All right, so looking at page eight now, we're particularly looking at the multiple bounce rolls. Um, our first one has two minims, then we have two crotchets and a multiple bounce on our third. So practice these multiple bounces, stop the video here or just after a little bit, practice from 27 through to 31 using your metronome. All right, so now what we're going to be looking at is the flam. The flam can be found on page 10 and 11 of your book, and it could also be called a grace note. But the flam is when both hands come down at the same time, or both sticks come down at the same time. So if I'm going to do a flam, they come down at the same time, very slightly apart. All right, so if I'm doing a right-left flam, my right hand goes down first and my left hand will follow. So this is a right-left flam and a left-right flam is the opposite. All right, so they're the flams, a general flam. If I'm gonna do double flams, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a flam and then a single. So flam, single, flam, single, flam, single. That's a row of double flams. If I'm doing a quad flam, then we're doing the double, single, 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 double, single, 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 double. All right, so like war drums or something like that. All right, so again, if you can practice that, uh, give it a go, and we're gonna go back into our um, metronome. Again, get our metronome going. Hopefully you can hear that. All right, so we're gonna start with the singles, and it's just a flam on every count. One, two, three, flams. So that's four bars of flam. We're now gonna to go to the double flam. Remember it's together, single, together, single. All right? One, two, three, go. Excellent. Now the hardest one I want you to give a go is trying the quad flams. So remember it's together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together. So if you want to do that, we'll together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left. All right, so are you ready? We're doing quad flams. One, two, three, go. How'd you go with that? I hope you manage that. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna show you that um, these in the book, and you're gonna go and demonstrate, or you're gonna practice doing some flams um, on the page 11 of your book. But then, I'm gonna show you a little bit of technique 
on the drums, on the, the full kit, so you can see what involves the full kit and um, how to play a basic rock beat. So now we're on page 10. We see at the top of the page the crotchet rest, the grace note, which we're going to call um, a flam. All right, so if we go further, we have our flam. All right, we're going across now to page 11, where we're going to practice doing these flams. So we have a bass drum, flam, bass drum, flam, and so forth. So now stop the video again, practice through to number 46 with your metronome, please. All right, so just to finish up, we're going to do a little bit of work on the kit, just to give you a little bit of extra, um, extra knowledge, basically. We're going to explain all the parts of the kit first. So what we have, of course, we have the snare drum, which the moment the snare's not on, we turn the snare on, we have our snare sound. All right, we have our bass drum or kick drum. So that's our bass drum or kick drum, this big fella here. All right, we have our two hanging toms, our smaller hanging tom, our bigger hanging tom, we have our floor tom. All right, they're the normal ones that we use. Some people have a lot more toms, some people only have a couple of toms, a lot of people might not even have a tom at all. But this is the normal setup for a kit. We have a number of symbols. This is called hi-hat. We have two symbols joined together and we have a quick click on it that we can use, all right? When it's closed, we can use that. So that's our hi-hat symbol. Our um, crash symbol, called a crash symbol because it really only goes for a short length of time. Our ride symbol, the sound goes for a lot long longer. So we have hi-hat, our um, crash symbol, and our ride symbol. All right, so what we're gonna do is do a basic walk. Now basic walk is bass drum, hi-hat, bass drum, hi-hat, so we're walking. Make sure your toes are pointing down and your heels are off the ground, all right? So you make sure that you have your um, uh, bass drum down more often than up. Alright, to add to that, every time our foot goes on our high hat, so basically our left foot is walking, we're going to hit the snare drum. So that is our basic walking beat. We're going to add to that single high hats on every beat. Now come back in. And that becomes our basic rock and roll single um, uh, riff. So that's our basic rock and roll um, uh, rhythm. Alright? So let's do that again. We're starting with the meaning. One, two, three, go. We're going to double that with the hi-hat, we're going to do our double rock and roll beat, which you'll know normally would hear. Alright, so that we can practice without even having a kit. So we can go, just walking. Alright, remember when our left foot goes down, our left hand's going to play. We cross over, we're going to play a hi-hat. Singles. And doubles. A little bit of air drum. So practice that and see how you go and see if you can get that right for when you come back. And I'd love to see you.